so many people right now are talking about the Brinkley Model G. It's a game changer for the toy hauler industry. Today, we're gonna to give you your own private walkthrough with one of their employees and answer a lot of the questions that we're all having. Let's go check it out. All right, everybody, we are here this morning. I have Jeremiah from Brinkley. He is the director of marketing. Yep. We just recently learned about Brinkley yesterday, actually. They're a new company, and they have a prototype here at the 2023 Campus Super Show, and he's going to give us a walkthrough and tell us about it. Okay. So, uh, you know, of course, what we're standing in front of is the uh, 35G. Uh, it's a toy hauler from us. Let me tell you a little bit about Brinkley before we uh, get too far into it. You know, Brinkley has started from uh, five, they've got five co-owners. They have a rich history in the RV industry. Um, take a look at who they are. You'll find that they've uh, started many of the most respected brands out there. So they saw a change and shift in the industry over the past few years. And uh, so there's definitely a real opportunity being underserved for those customers for not only high quality products, but also take care of the customer after the fact. So when they got started in the market, they kind of changed how the whole approach of how they typically even build a uh, coach. They extended the prototyping period um, the typical builds for uh, most manufacturers is start one prototype, and then by the time that's almost done, they're already uh, starting to run the step down the production line to start to get sales out the door. Uh, so what our approach is, is to slow it down, um, spend time looking to solve the problems up front. In fact, this coach is fully built the first time in 3D, which is not typical. Uh, so that's almost virtually prototype one. Then uh, we build an actual prototype. Uh, then the one of the co-owners, also the lead designer of the Model G, Nate, uh, he took a <clears throat> trip with his family. Since there's no better way to do a uh, real-world test than to actually get out in the world, use it with people, stopping at campgrounds, talking to people, having to walk through it. Right there in their backyard, you get great feedback when people are right there in their environment where they use their own motorhomes and RVs. True <laughs> shakedown run. You got it. So then... After that, they bring you know back a list of refinements and um, ways to make it better, improvements, and then not do we, we don't just start production then, but we also go on to build another prototype, perfect that, and another one, um, and then we also take them to a a test track so we can run them through an abusive track that simulates a lifetime of use to ensure that everything we've done is going to hold up in the real world also. So all those things, of course, means a better built coach with a lot more thoughtful uh, features built into it. There's uh, a lot to know about these coaches if you spend just a few minutes looking at the details. You'll find there's dozens of things that will make your life easier. Awesome, let's check them out. Okay. You know, so here we are in front of the, one of the most used spaces in your coach. You've got your entry door, but just like some of the big diesel pushers, you've got your push button uh, entry locks. Then not just that little uh, handle that only helps you on the top two steps, but we have a collapsible that's easy to open and close. It extends out, covers you all the way down to the bottom step. And then we used to have to keep a broom out here just for sweeping off our steps, but when you need to clean them off, you just tip them down and dump off the dirt. You're good to go. <laughs> we also include lights on the bottom of it, helps light your way up the steps. As we step over here to the side, you know, we, those big bulky refrigerators that take up all your storage, we put a 12 volt refrigerator down here in the bottom. You can load it full of your favorite high C drinks right here. <laughs> all your uh, baggage doors on the back side or on the outside are slime latch latches. And then, of course, this massive patent pending uh, storage area up front. So uh, one way that we do that is it's, it's dropped down and it's uh, used an uh, iframe to expand the space. It keeps, uh, not only you get this tall space here, but you also get compartmentalized spaces for when you need uh, to separate stuff. So these flip down, they have latches down there, so you can keep one down or both or keep them both up. Then we use gray tough ply. It's a little bit brighter, but this tough ply also keeps your stuff from moving around and it's durable. And then when you're on the inside, if you ever need to do any um, inspections or maintenance, 
often you have to get your screw gun out and and pull something off the you know pull something off the wall a panel just to access it and then you're kind of crawling through that uh, actually being RVers they know that this is just part of uh, the RV lifestyle they made these panels so they're easily removed they just pull up give you access and snap out and you also uh, fold this over and you can get full access to everything on the inside and while we're down here seeing it we've got uh, there's three filters in this uh, RV already and then you also have an additional one that's on your refrigerator. And then, of course, more. Another. Wow. 500 pounds of capacity. Is. Big, wide, and deep. So much storage in this unit. Talked about uh, uh, this. The, here's your uh, sprayer that's on the uh, door side. Now, while we're looking at this, let's go ahead and talk about the Rockford system that we've uh, put together on this. So unlike in a typical uh, coach, where they put the speakers up high so that if you have your radio on, everybody in the campgrounds hears it no matter what the volume is, mm -hmm. and there's no hole in your sidewall, we put the speakers underneath. So as you look around, you'll see some little tags, but they're all tucked away underneath the coach. There's four different zones uh, throughout that you can turn uh, different audio on or volume up or down. And because they're spread out, no matter where you're camping, you can have the volume at whatever level you want without everyone hearing it. But this thing is so loud, you can hear it everywhere. We can't show you today because it's so bright out right now, but we also have additional lighting that runs uh, underneath here because I know for me, I throw a lot of my gear down underneath the bottom and having it actually lit down there makes it so much easier to find. So from the factory, you get a 30 pound tank, but they left enough room that you can put a 40 in here if you're uh, away for a long time. Mm -hmm. But they also use the right brackets that if you need to, in a pinch, put a 20 pound in there, you don't have to go and grab a ratchet strap and try to fit it in there. The brackets work with the 20 pound in a pinch too. 20, 30, or 40, that's mm -hmm. great. So on the uh, sides of the coach, we give you two high quality cameras on each side with night vision. And then you also have one in the very back and that comes with a monitor, wireless monitor already because you're already using your phone for enough things. You don't need to worry about using it when you want to back up quickly. Jeremiah, you have to tell me about this Gen Y pin box. I've heard a lot of really, really good things. I, the, everybody who has stopped by the booth who's used one has commented about how much they love this. I'm glad that we're making it as an option. It's one of the few ones we have, but if you tow a lot, this is the way to go. It dampens your... Uh, your ride so if you go over those expansion joints and bridges especially or some states with poor roads it takes a lot of that vibration out and doesn't transfer it all to the truck that's awesome also straight from the factory often um, you'll just get the hard cable which can give you a false pull uh, Brinkley knew that that's been a problem with a few people and rather than people have to deal with that we just actually gave you a coil coil latch to avoid those problems Another problem solved. So let's take a look while we're here at the uh, solar and generator. So from the factory stock, you have a 3000 watt inverter, two lithium ion batteries with space to upgrade up to four. Then while we're down here, we also have independently controlled hydraulic for the six point leveling jacks. And then you have your charge controller over here. It's nice that it's all in one space so you can inspect it and uh, maintenance it right there. Yeah, definitely. As we move over here, um, from the factory you're going to have a 550 generator. And this is an inverter generator, which if you're, and biofuel, if you're familiar with the uh, inverter generators, they actually run at the RPM of the needed load. So if you're just running your TVs, it runs at a very low RPM. It's very, very quiet. Um, it's even quiet at, at higher RPM. But when you kick on the ACs and the fridge is running and all the lights are on, it revs up a little bit to support that load. It's more fuel efficient. It uh, allows the engine to last longer. It also is by fuel and you don't have to shut it off to switch over. So it runs off of LP and gas. Uh, there's a switch in here. Just kick it over and you're good to go. <clears throat> so 
So here we are in the front bay of the storage, and you still got your tough ply uh, across the bottom, then your uh, car cargo dividing spacers that are, we got one that's partially down, it's not latched, and one that's up, held with magnets. There is no toy hauler with this much storage space no. out there. No, this storage space is amazing. I, I, I love that it's separated from underneath of here. We're guilty of this. We've seen so many people guilty of this. You have your generator down there and you just pack stuff all around it. So now the generator is not getting the proper ventilation that it needs. You guys solve that problem right here. Yeah. All right, let's step over here to the side. Uh, so here we are on the uh, off door side of the, uh, of the coach. So here's your docking station. You know, uh, unlike a lot of other people, we actually include all the little hardware pieces you need uh, and adapters. And it's all in one place for you with electronic dump valves for your black, gray, and such. No more <laughs> levers to pull. And then, uh, you know, for me, it's always been a problem. You have that hose out there, and then when you need it, you have to take it out. And you got to keep it in a tub because it's going to leak water every once in a while. Mm -hmm. And then you roll out your 50 foot of hose and coil it out, and it's only 10 feet or sometimes 50, but you have a mess of hose all yeah. around. Well, instead, uh, you know, being campers themselves, they thought of everything. Took a 65-foot uh, hose, put it on a reel. It's in here. You only pull out what you need. Then also, when you're putting it back in here, because of gravity, it's self-draining. Nice. Then you have, on this side, your two 500-pound um, five slide trays. That's huge. That goes way in there. Life is so much easier when you don't have to move everything around to try to find what you need. And yeah. no matter what the weight is, you can put it, it in It will there. hold it. We include this uh, ladder that's actually useful for more than just a coach. Uh, you'll feel pretty confident getting up on the roof with that. Then, you guys are going to love this because I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> I hate those big, bulky 50-amp cords that are difficult to move around. Yeah. So, this is the first of its kind, the flat 50-amp much easier to work with, even in the cold weather. And then on top of that, you got a reel, electric reel, that you can roll that in on. Wind it in and go. So thinking of uh, even the safety of your cable, uh, so if anybody does decide to try to walk off with the copper in it, you can run the cable up through the hole here, plug it in. One, it keeps it away from the slide trays uh, all the time. And then two, when these doors are locked, your cable's also locked with it. Right. you got a high flow tankless hot water heater so you can run all your faucets at once have a hot water shower the moment you get to the campsite so while we're here in the exterior let's talk about how we seal them uh, so they took a different approach that knowing that automobiles don't have to layer stuff up to get seals on it and they don't have to use silicone and have it resealed all the time uh, so they took that approach and looked at how they did that so the way we seal them there's no silicone on the outside at all everything is bonded uh, behind that each, each piece of the material so no more silicone finally yeah you don't have to worry about that failure and water damage happening now that is a huge game changer so even the little things that i love is that it it may take a little bit longer to do it right but they do it anyway so rather than use screws to hold some of the panels around they actually use rivets so they don't vibrate loose over time. You also don't have that sharp point in the backside for you to catch yourself on when you're trying to air up the tire. Yeah. So and speaking of tires, these yeah. come stock with Cooper tires. Yes. So these are commercial grade Cooper tires. Uh, they're 16 ply. That's the important part of it. That that tells you uh, kind of the their durability. So we just eliminated that as a factor from you, rather than the disposable tires out there. Mm -hmm. Then, of course, you get your aluminum rims that are custom for Brinkley. We've upgraded you uh, with CRE 3000. Suspension. And then we also give you Sumo shocks, which I have not personally used, but it just like the Gen Y pitch, the people I've told who've used them love them. So here we are at the fuel area. Uh, so not only do you have fuel, this uh, can run your uh, generator up front or fuel your toys if you have them. You also get not just a 12 volt air compressor, but a name brand 110 air compressor. Nice. Then with that, 
you get a long uh, hose that can get reach around to each of your tires or reach into the garage. And we didn't stick it in here, so you have to cram more stuff into the compartment. We put a compartment for it up underneath here for you. So let's talk about backing it up. So often you have a just some backup lights down in the bottom. Mm -hmm. Well, not only do we have the backup lights down in the bottom, but we have got your Max Vision backup lights. So that gives you all your lights on the side turn on, all your awning lights turn on, so that illuminates your space Very like nice. a UFO out there. Yeah. You won't, yeah. you won't miss anything. So when you're pulling in the campsite a little late, you had a couple extra star stops, it's a little dark, you're going to light up the whole show so you can back in. Yes. Very nice. All right. So the garage space in this, by the way, is 11 foot, but we also have a 16 foot model that you'll be seeing very, very soon. And then while we're here, we've, on the roof, we use a new seal that uh, it's been out in the market, but only in high-end buses. Uh, and it, the difference between the seal is the uh, chemicals that they use inside of it um, on regulars evaporate. So what happens is when it evaporates, it shrinks. And then when things shrink, they of course pull apart and therefore creating gaps for water to get in. Uh, well, the chemicals they use in the seal we have actually don't evaporate, therefore they don't shrink. Um, and that's why we're able to actually say it's a low maintenance roof, which is industry first. And uh, while we're talking about the roof, up there you have two 400 watt panels, giving you a total of 800 watts. You were telling me you guys are installing the TPMS systems with these? Yeah, so from the factory, you're going to get a tire pressure monitoring system on all your wheels. You'll see the, uh, the stems there. You also get your uh, wireless screen that goes up in your uh, up in your rig awesome jeremiah the inside of this looks amazing the finish is sleek it's clean it's open it's airy and the cabinets the storage i've not seen anything like this mm -hmm. especially in a toy hauler yeah so from the very beginning they took the approach that they wanted to make their home not an rv but make it an actual home so if you look around it's not just a residential like, it's a residential interior. One thing that they did to start that is typical process is to use a staple to attach your trim. It's very quick, it's efficient. Mm -hmm. Then you take a putty, and if you match it very close, it looks pretty good. You can still see with the sheen that it's, there's pinholes there. And then over time, of course, that stuff dries a little bit. Mm -hmm. But instead, they uh, worked on putting the fasteners on the back side so that you don't see all those staples and putty. So that's part of how we achieve this really clean, modern residential interior. Yes. The other is to use actual cabinetry, just like you would have in a motor or a <clears throat> in your own home. Yeah. Um, not just builder grade, but like premium house builds. So all your Very construction, nice. it's all done with you know dove table tails and poplar. Then all your ball bearing drawer guides are on the bottom, so you're maximizing your width of your drawers. So uh, here, let's take a look uh, at some of the storage you have. So this is epic. So you not only do you have this huge space, but it becomes also more efficient because every shelf is adjustable. So it adapts to your needs and based on your groceries. So if you start buying in bulk and you need more room, yep, it's slide up. Slide up. Got. And then not only that. You know, you get the convenience of a few drawers down here in the bottom, rather than just all shelves. And then, of course, you get a basket in the bottom. Very, bottom. Very nice. And now, of course, when you're driving down the road, you don't want this thing sliding out on you. And you guys figured that out, right? You got it. Put a latch right there in the bottom, but secure. So it's stuck. You want to pull it out, just step and pull. You got it. Then, of course, you get uh, a nice space here for all your spices. Right here next to the stove where you use the most. Very nice. One thing that we love and Amanda has always talked about, nobody puts a window behind the mm -hmm. stove. And for ventilation, it's like, why not? Yep. So we put a, a window back there. Then you still get the shades, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Then, of course, you have up top, you have your microwave, residential microwave. But on top of that, it has an air fryer built in. So that's one less appliance you have to carry and make room for, all built in. Nice. Uh, so 
we have a, uh, a very efficient residential GE refrigerator here. And we'll talk about how that pairs with our solar system later. Very cool. Then on the, uh, over here on this side, we have a lot of little hidden features that make uh, life a heck of a lot easier. So you have your pull down where you can store your knives, you got magnetic holders. And then of course you have your pull down utensil drawer over here. First your residential cabinet doors and hardware, and then adjustable shelves still with a lip. I really like that you went with the residential cabinets. As most know, you drive down the road, these things bounce all around and the, the screws rattle themselves loose. I've had to adjust cabinet doors. I can't tell you how many times. I don't think that's going to be a problem anymore. Our guys take them out on the road and test in the real world to find all those little details and the places for all the things that you need because they have to pack it themselves and use it and spend time in it. Goes yeah. a long way. So of course you get a uh, extend your you know, drying or your uh, countertop space. You have your uh, roll up here. Uh, the two most popular uh, floor plans and toy haulers are either an island or a peninsula. Uh, often you have to choose between the two. But on this, you have the ability to have both when you need it. So you can slide a little bracket here to hold it up, and now you can seat four for breakfast. And when you need a more open space, you just flip it down and you have yourself a waterfall island. Very nice. So as we're uh, separate on the other side, we have our uh, our two stools on the side here. Bar stools. Yep. And as you pull them out, I'm going to show you a little, little secret down here for your four-legged friends. You have uh, removable bowls. So one, you have a place for them here. But then also when you need to wash them or take them out to the campsite, you just take them, take them out there and return when you're ready. All set up for the fur babies. You got it. Now, some other things we did because, uh, you know, let's face it, pets, there's a few things you could do to make their lives a lot easier too. There's no vents in the floor. There's no carpet anywhere. All of our screens um, come from the factory with the protectors on them. So pet-friendly spaces all around. Very nice. Yeah, I, I didn't even notice that. There's uh -huh. no carpet under the slide, and it's seamless. Uh, a almost. lot of people don't see that because yeah. it's so hard to see. Yeah. In fact, it's an easy one to forget when you're showing people. So you use a flat floor slide <clears throat> that uh, you don't have to, one, you get a taller space on the inside, and you also don't get a trip hazard. Yeah, very nice. So you have your two residential nightstands on either side with your hidden USB and USB-C uh, 110 outlets there when you need them. We give you even additional storage on the inside. And then here with the sofa, um, you have two recliners on it, with, and then you also have heat and massage. And you know what? They even give you some USB there, too, if it's easier for you then. Heat and massage. You guys finish this tour. I'll, I'm just going to sit here. <laughs> <laughs> um, while we're here, let's go ahead and talk about the windows we use. They're uh, a Euro window. Uh, it's part of how we achieve the uh, automotive exterior. Uh, some nice things about uh, this, one, it, nobody else is doing it. We uh, brought it to the industry. <clears throat> they have built-in bug screens, but then you also have blackout to pull down. Then, on top of that, the blackouts have uh, insulated reflective material on the other side. So when you're trying to block out the sun or the cold, that helps keep it out there. You don't have to have the big rolls of reflective and try to cut them out to each individual window. and Not at all. Very cool. Very nice. <clears throat> so here we've got, on this side, you've got your TV with a shelf up top to put um, your favorite streaming device. Though these have Roku already built in, so it's a single easy-to-use remote. But if you prefer Apple TV, you can set one of those up here and have access to that. And early feedback after we've gotten this in front of a few people, because that's how we, uh, how we do our product development. Early feedback, they would like to see a fireplace here. Mm -hmm. We've got a fireplace uh, designed, and we'll have that in the next unit and installed in this one soon enough. We were talking about that last night. You guys are already on it. Oh, absolutely. We, if that's something that our customers uh, want, we're going to try to uh, accommodate. Very cool. Uh, so why we're before we leave here, let's talk about a few other things. All the lighting in here is color matched. So it's all 4,000 Kelvin. Often you see, because it's cheaper sometimes to go to different suppliers or what they're trying to get a hold of, they get lights that are different colors. These are all a natural light, comfortable to live in and match. They also dim. Really? Yeah. I did not realize that. So as, as we're starting to walk up here, I'll show you a few spaces. 
everybody has to deal with shoes and sometimes messy shoes. So one, you got a space right at the entry point that you can store. It's very deep, but then you don't have to also worry about cleaning under there because you just pull the tray out to get access to the shoes. And also when you're ready to clean it, use your campsite hose, rinse it off. Additional lighting as well. Let's step up and take a look at the restroom. All right. So I'm 6'2", and I certainly don't have any problem in here. You've got a resident, residential shower with body sprayers, hand spray, and a shower head up here. Deep basket so you can keep your stuff in here while you travel. Glass shower door. Then you also have a recessed medicine cabinet, so it's not a head knocker. Also provides an additional storage inside, and it adds additional lighting underneath. Then over here, you have a pull-out linen closet, and it keeps going. So you can, and adjustable shelf, so you can stack up as many towels as you'd like, adapt it to your size shampoo bottles, your size um, uh, toiletries. Then what's often missed is having a space for a trash can. A nice pull-out trash can, and it's also larger. Now, another nice feature here is you have a uh, toilet paper holder that you can move out, but when you're ready to travel, you don't have to latch it down with a strap. You don't have to tie it down with a screw, a knob. It's magnetically held in place against the wall. Porcelain toilet, dual matching um, hardware, and then at all of our plumbing fixtures, we put shutoff valves. So if you ever want to do an upgrade or any maintenance, you can actually turn them off. Not necessarily common out there. Not fact, at all. all of our plumbing fixtures, or all our plumbing, uses uh, brass fittings rather than plastic, which is an industry problem that they looked at early on, said, how can we solve this problem? That's great. Step into the bedroom. <clears throat> so uh, here we are in the bedroom. Right now, this is a king, but you can option a queen. And if you decide to do the queen, you get two nightstands on either side. You have your nightstand shelves up here. They have CPAP extensions with magnets, so if you have a larger CPAP machine, that bracket extends it so it uh, fits over there. You have 110 on either side with USB and USB-C chargers. Bookshelf over here. And then this isn't an RV mattress. This is a uh, residential memory foam mattress. Wow, it's really Most soft. mattress you'll find out there. Yeah. Let's go ahead and lift this up, because you don't just get the, the weird storage on here. You actually get drawers, organization, plus a cubby in the back. There's drawers everywhere in here. I don't know if I've seen this many drawers in any other toy hauler no. bedroom. So you've got, uh, on top of that, motion sensing lights the floor. Just for convenience, when you're getting out of bed, you don't have to worry about waking the others up. They automatically turn on. Wow. You get your large deep closet here we provide that same neon light strip across here so you can easily see your clothes but we provide a led strip all the way from the top to the bottom so no matter what you're packing in there you're not sh it's not in shadow then once you get around this side you'll see a bunch of cubbies for shoes and other items and then up top here you've got a, a large shelf but we also curved it so you have the ability to put some larger items up there and deeper items on the edges now, from the factory, you'll get washer dryer prep in the garage space and also here in the bedroom. So you can fit a full size stackable washer and dryer. Of course, we include a laundry basket. Then you even get additional storage here on the sides. You have uh, your flip out TV here, and then that adjusts to how you need it. Of course, all your drawers here on the uh, dresser. Now, for a long time, there's a few people who provide a, a dresser that this top flips up, which is nice to have additional storage underneath, but you gotta remove your items to get to it. Eh, not on this one. So on this one, you can still leave your stuff up there and then stow your uh, valuables in here. Kind of a nice little hidden space for them. Definitely. And 
you know, someone who's already purchased one actually says she's going to bring the, her chair in here and use this uh, uh, additional uh, desktop space. It works. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, something you'll notice right away that this doesn't look quite like a garage because so many people use this for more than just a garage. It actually has a residential feel and a residential interior. Even the flooring is gray, tough ply. So here in the half bath, you have uh, the same medicine cabinet that opens up, gives you additional storage and lighting. And then you also have the porcelain toilet and the uh, magnetic toilet paper holder. I also went with uh, Sunbrella material which is durable enough to leave outside all year round, so a great space use for this. Uh, these, of course, lift up out of the way so that you can bring your toys in or use it as an office space or kid play space. Here in the back, if you have a garage, you're always going to have things that you want to bring with you. Well, sometimes those take up storage spaces up here and you have to move around. With this, open it up and you get a, a deep storage space, also with tough Tough ply. We'll leave that op open so you can show that later. Actually, here. Turn around for a moment. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> then you have a patio doors here in the back. Often these are always black because uh, that's kind of the theme they go with in the there in the garage. Went with white. Certainly more residential. Also uh, reflect the sun a little better. Um, while we're standing over here, we've got got a large smart TV, brand name. All the TVs here are, uh, you know, of course, 4K smart TVs. So this also has a bracket here, so you can bring it down oh. and view it when you're not needing it. Put it back up. Put it back. And you got a bunk up top. Now the nice thing about having a bunk here in the gr uh, garage space, which ends up being more of a, a guest bedroom because of the half bath is that it's not connected to the living room. So when the kids are here and playing or you have uh, guests, they're not a part of the other space. So when they need their own private area, it's available to them. Well, the same uh, same styling that you'll see out there in the patio. So your uh, cable style uh, keeper, uh, removable ladder, and then even the Happy Jack uh, queen bed that's up here with the push of a button comes down, whether you want to use it for storage or if you want to use it for uh, Another uh, more sleeping. Yeah. And with the bottom two Happy Jacks, I was told yesterday, you guys have done something different here, and they are independent of each yeah. other. Yeah, so, you know, you don't always need to convert it completely to a sofa. Sometimes you may want to leave some stuff down and only have one down. You yeah. can actually do that. We upgrade that. That's really cool. Oh, while we're, while we're walking out here, notice that uh, lighting in a garage space is always important. Look at that same strip of neon white light all the way across. The strips don't provide uh, or don't create a lot of shadows. Well, come on out to the patio. So you got your residential style um, railings on the side, and of course there, you know, if you have, whoop, we didn't latch it here yet. So if you have pets, if you have pets, it's a great place to keep them out here. And it's clean and modern looking. It's not like the other gate or fences that you see on the other toy haulers. This is, it goes with the rest of the finish. It's all clean. It's all very sleek. Yeah, I, that was very much their goal is to build themselves a home that you'd have just like you would bring your family into and stop thinking of it. Yeah, yeah.